far as I'm aware, there is no easier way to achieve a buffalo check effect than with a stencil. So I have created two sizes, one is called large and one is medium. And here is the scale against my hand. This is great for bigger pieces or furniture and this is your traditional size. So for a traditional red and black buffalo check, you will of course need a black and red paint and I'll be demonstrating with Fusion's Fort York Red and Coal Black. You'll also need various stencil brushes. I like to collect round tipped as well as flat tipped and whatever you desire to stencil on. Stencil technique will vary on the surface you are choosing. For example, a good place to start would be on fabric or raw wood because it's more absorbent and there's somewhere for the paint to go versus starting on a pre-painted surface. Let's demonstrate on this burlap ribbon first. So first I'm going to load the brush and offload some and then start on the big squares first and what this does is it offloads more paint so when you get to the little lines it's less likely to bleed. Notice I'm spinning the brush that's so the paint embeds into the burlap a little more. When I get to the little lines, I generally swipe in the direction of the lines, which seems to get a cleaner output. If you don't find you're getting enough coverage, you can tap. However, I would try swiping first. Now let's try a pre-painted surface. I'm going to create a traditional buffalo check on this IKEA rattan placemat. So first I will coat it out with Fort York Red, let it dry, then stencil it in black. Working with patterns is a little like tiling. You always want to start in the middle of your project so when you eventually finish to the corners, the pattern looks even on both edges. Just like on the ribbon, I'm going to load my brush, offload it a bit, and be a little more extra cautious this time because I know the paint will not soak in like it did on the fabric. So big squares first, offload more paint, then swipe in the direction of the little lines. It's turning out great. Now continuing a pattern is actually very easy. You simply match up like-minded squares and keep going right to the edge. Buffalo Check also has a companion called Fringe, which is offered separately. What Fringe does is trims out the edge of Buffalo Check with a fringe effect. Isn't that fun? That would be so great for painted table runners. This is totally cute as is. However, let's add one more layer with plaid shirt. To align plaid shirt, you use the four little registration marks over top of any solid black square. Tape in place and begin. Once the stencil is aligned, I do recommend putting masking tape over the registration marks so you don't paint them accidentally. To continue the pattern towards the edges, I recommend keeping the stencil number on your bottom right because if you rotate it, it will make a difference. And then just align like-minded patterns together and keep going. If you are working on a large surface such as a tabletop, I do recommend removing the registration mark tape from time to time just to check the alignment. Mm -hmm. 